break. Today we are in Galleon, Ohio. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, we are starting in the Marion Industries. This is the first video in that series. Um, I am still with my daughter, Jada. Say hi. Hi. Um, we are going to go in here and look around and see what they have. I've never been here before, so I'm excited. Um, looks pretty nice from the outside, so let's get going. All right, we're going to start over here with some ladies' clothes. Oh, look at the pretty fur. Made in England, so it's probably real. Wow. Pretty cool. Nice jean jacket. My, my hair hurts. Two piece outfits. That's cool. Yeah. Halloween costume, seven ninety nine. Cool. All right here. Got some curtains and linens. Really pretty towel here with the lovebirds on it. It's good quality towel too, feels like. And they're all individually marked as well. Looks to be five dollars, two dollars, two dollars, dollar ninety nine. Well that's that took somebody a long time to do. <laughs> Cool. And some comforters. And we got some pillows here. And then here at the end we have some ceramic Christmas houses. $5.99. That's cool. That's a fiber optic fountain. Harvest Crossings. Never heard of that brand before. Six dollars a piece though is pretty good. All right, we got a sewing box here. A little scrapbook calligraphy set. Oh, that's neat. Looks like somebody already made a lot of the flowers for that. Whole bunch of yarn. Flowers, borders and a kid's stepping stone. Pretty cool. All right, we've got some vases, decorations. I really like the color of this vase, the glaze. It's really pretty. Uh, this little cruet, it's probably Avon, I would say. Um, maybe not though. All right, got some baskets here. Looks to be $1.99. $3.99 looks to be about the average, though. Little picture here, made in China. It's cute, though, with all the vegetables. And then we've got a candle holder. <laughs> and some more vases, some more baskets. Another sewing basket. It's a dual top here. It's pretty neat. And then a big picnic basket there in the back. And the cutest little bunny rabbit. And then a croc here. It is Rockdale Union Stoneware. Cool. Never heard really too much about them. That's cool. All right. That's a really pretty color. All right, we got one of the end caps here that has some 
Hallmark keepsake ornaments on it. A cute little Halloween ornament. Jada, look at that. Isn't that cute? Cool. $1.99. I love Christmas grab bags. All right. We got a New Orleans, uh, Louisiana spoon rest. $1.99. Um, some wood blocks, some tablecloths. That is a pretty cool vintage pumpkin down there. It lights up. Nothing that I really need to have, though. <laughs> All right. Wall shelves, organizers, different things. It's really neat binocular set here or set or just the case L how so it looks like it's in really good shape too not too sure if it's really that old but it's really cool look at that I love shelves that look through the squirrels what ha shell <laughs> Pillbox. This is really pretty. It's pretty modern, but very pretty gold. And a little Mickey Mouse figurine here. It does say Disney, but I can't see a year. He is so cute. Six dollars. Looks to be in good shape. Then we got what looks like a pet little end cap section. Little bed, outfits. The clothes look to be about $2. Nice heavy resin basket here. With some heart stones for $4. Kind of looks like Temptations. Nope, Heartfelt Kitchen. Cool. I used to collect the carousel horse there. Some Pamper Chef. Look at this big Santa cookie jar. So pretty. It looks like we got Barrington Bear Collection. Look at the puppy dog here. Isn't he cute? I can't read the label though. Cute though. There's another big shell. Look at that. Nineteen ninety eight. Made in China Christmas train. <laughs> Jada's telling me that they're opening a new store in Bucyrus. <laughs> Yay! We just drove through there too, so I'll have to make sure I come back up. <laughs> Four dollars for this little bag of trinkets. That's a cute little trinket box in there. $4 for the bag. Little whale ring jar. Ring dish. Little potpourri container for 6 Tombstone, Arizona. The town too tough to die. Cool. A cute little mini decanter there. Cute. Four dollars. Look a little a gobel plate. 
another shell. The artwork here, dollar ninety nine. Three ninety nine for the whiteboard. Oh, that's pretty. That's painted. Somebody painted that. That's very pretty. Eight dollars, nine dollars. It's very pretty. I don't know anything about art. But hopefully I'll learn something. All right, let's see. These are interesting. Crate and barrel, $8 a piece. Take a picture of those. Because crate and barrel can sell, so I'll take some picture. I'll take a picture and try to see if I can find something out. Be kind and sweet. Aw. Ah. Little office supplies. Binder with paper. Six dollars for a bundle. That's neat that they pre make the bundles, like with crayons and pencils. <laughs> Whittle Sticks USA. Columbus. <laughs> cute. This is what I saw. Look how cute she is. Aw. Little wicker shelf down there. Looks to be pretty, pretty dirty and kind of worn out. Some letters. That's really pretty carved piece. Honduras. Six dollars. Want to be looking old, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Q. This is a little weather barometer and thermometer and what hydrometer or something like that. Four dollars. All right. Some baseball bat, little decorations, some arrow decorations. A little cow sign that says moo. Little pottery dish here. Probably for tea light. Couple of signs for like a classroom in a school. A hobbyist piece. That's cool. Looks like somebody painted those. Six dollars for the pair. That's neat. Though I do think that it is just paper and not actual dried flowers. It is. It's like a percolator. Six dollars. These are pretty. They're just for tea lights, probably. A little bunny rabbit here. Oh, it's a music box. Cute. Little teal hobbyist piece from 83. Signed Gert. She looks old, doesn't she? Oh, it's like paper mache. Oh. 
little pan rack, some more dolls. All right, looks like some household stuff. A little hay crate, a little like electrical household items to fix things. All right, and we got their cups, mugs, glasses, things like that. Big set of plates for $8 per day. Little Pinocchio glass. It's very cute. Oh, it's plastic. $1.99. <laughs> All right. I have one of these, but I just don't have a lid to mine. Put eggs in it, I think, and make them something like that. It's interesting. It's a neat shaped teapot. It's fairly modern. Some clear glass here. Cape Cod coffee mugs. Cuffy is the brand. Two dollars a piece. They might get these because I believe they are bottoms to fairy lights. You put them up front for me, please. Indian's cup here. Ceramic coasters here look pretty neat. There's a lot of discoloration on the sides, and I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. But I do think something with birds like that had sold pretty well before. These are some mugs look to be cut to clear ruby. were cracked on the handle. Ooh, that says Franciscan. Hold on here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask if I can open it at the front. It's $4. If they're in good shape, I should be able to get about 40. So I really wanna to look to see first before I buy them. They were Franciscan, uh, Desert Rose goblets. Really cute cookie jar. Flower Garden Fine China. They probably have the plates with them in the bottom of the box. And here's some more bird glasses, but they look a little worn out, so I'm not going to really bother looking them up. All right, the next aisle, they have this stack of decorative plates. It's a good idea for $4. It's a good idea to help get rid of like a lot of individual plates. Cool, cool. Some nice plates here. Looks kind of like mid-century, but maybe like 80s. All right. Hyper chiller. All right. A 
a whole bunch of 25th anniversary things here. My grandma and grandpa just had a whole bunch of them, too. Um, they got divorced quite a long time ago, but we found a lot going through her basement. <laughs> this is the plastic section. Really neat Halloween place bats here. All right, let's look at toys. Look how cute these chairs are. I do think that they used to be like salon chairs, though. I used to own some that looked exactly like it. <laughs> <coughs> Row Pottery, 1989. Yeah, let's not put that in there. Just some bag, grab bags of toys. It's a cute. It looks older too. The older push thing doesn't really work. <laughs> Looks like an older, older uh, vintage castle there too. Boys' car racetrack and accessories. And this is just the end cap here. Ooh, punch bowl. Is it clear or colored? Nope, it's clear. <laughs> it's wrapped up really nice, though. A little rack of shoes. A little toy box. A little box of a castle. $10.99. I'm curious as to what that is. Well, we pulled it out, and it looks like to be a Batman. $6. All right, we got some board games here. They're individually priced to $1.99. $1.99 looks to be about the average. There are some 2 dollars And then we got some mauve lamps, $4.99. A little bit of small electronics, $4.99. Looks to be about the average. That's a neat lamp there. I wonder if the light shines through. Four ninety nine. That's cool. I think it hangs. Might have to look that up. That's pretty cool. So printer, lantern, just some other small things. All right, entertainment center, Christmas trees in a box, an old glass case for a stereo. I think my grandpa used to have something like that. I think it was $60. Some more artwork over here. Cool. Got some belts, $1.99. Looks like some lift off tape, $12.99. And then baby clothes. And here's from the back corner looking towards the front. So I am going to get this. It needs cleaned, but for $5, they're selling for about $25, $30 a piece if they work. And it does. I plugged it in before I left the store. $449, $479 would be the average for pants. Then we got the shoes over here on the sidewall. Let's see. A pair of Brooks for $4.99. They're four seventy nine. <laughs> they look to be in good shape, but I don't know much about Brooks. Let me know if you know. I have no clue. Not a shoe person. All right. They do have their shoes sorted and displayed very nicely. I will say that. <laughs> All right, let's go check out. Enticing people to buy some small items. 
I'm guilty of it. <laughs> All right, we just got done with Galleon. Galleon, Goodwill. Um, it was a really, really nice Goodwill. I it was very clean, very nice. The people inside was very nice. Um, I found a few good things. I found up shorts for myself. That's good, being a plus size, it's hard to find clothes. <laughs> um, I found a vintage patio light that lights up kind of like how you used to put the pegs in the shine bright, I think is what it was called. Um, very cool, found that, it works, I plugged it in. I found a set of four of the Franciscan Desert Rose goblets. Um, they're all in there, good score on that. And then I found a couple small blue satin, I think they're bottoms to fairy lights. I'm gonna look those up. I'm not gonna make much money on those, but for people that are looking for bases, it could help some people out. So, thank you guys. Crystal and Beth was both here. <laughs> thank you very much for letting me film. Um, it was very nice to meet you guys, and thanks for having me, and thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.